we like. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Awalamo ifunaya Jesus ikwalamo Awalamo ifunaya Jesus ikwalamo Awalamo ifunaya Jesus ikwalamo Awalamo ifunaya Jesus ikwalamo I'm in love so are you are you lagging behind as it were in your understanding of scriptures begin to pray excessively in other tongues and your spirit will open up to begin to receive you know mysteries revelations from from the lord now the third point the third benefit of tongues is that tongues help you to assess the deep things of god tongues help you to assess the deep things of god now this is somewhat um in connection has a connection to the previous point first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 to 12. the scripture says but just as it is written in scripture things which the eye has not seen and the ear has not heard and which has not entered the heart of man all that god has prepared for those who love him verse 10 for god has unveiled them and revealed them to us through the holy spirit for the spirit searches all things diligently even the, the depths of god the divine counsels and things far beyond human understanding for what person knows the thoughts and motives of a man except the man's spirit within him so also no one knows the thoughts of god except the spirit of god so the scripture begins to let us um, understand that there are things concerning those that love god that eyes have not seen that ears have not heard that it has not even entered the hearts of man including the person it is written for do you understand so there are things about you about your life that is not yet obvious eyes have not seen it ears have not heard it it has not even entered the heart of man but it now says that these things are locked up in the heart of god so what is the job of the holy ghost the job of the holy ghost is to search these deep things and review them and unveil them it's called unveiling it's apocalypse unveiling it means that it has been there all along it's just an unveiling an unveiling of what has been there all along so now how does this unveiling take place one of the ways is that is through praying in other tongues do you understand so it's just like google search you are confused about something so you, you you type in something into google and then google is able to search through the internet and bring you results relevant to your search so you are doing life and you get confused about a particular thing what do i do here what is the wisdom for this um for uh, for this particular thing and then you begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in tongues the holy ghost begins to search the mind of god and brings you the thing relevant to that situation unveils it to you and you are like wow wow i must do this this is what i should do and you just know this is what you should do and you do it and then there is success so so that's what this this is talking about so when you pray in other tongue, tongues you begin to receive deep things concerning your life so it allows you to assess the deep things of God, specific instructions. So you are just praying in tongues. Sayate mene mene kayan desu levri na tonze vele taya. Jemana manan si levri na mana kwasi levri ni avena no shamana manande. Imana na tiye sovala na mia kabala ni ajana nande. Le mara no jete mene azo vele tia ya gadame ne mele taya na manaya. Jena mina no ze vele tia ya kaya no 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 mene vele ni ya kaya na ya. And then your soul begins to be quietened you know and then in your heart you now get an instruction <laughs> go and propose to that lady <laughs> don't mind me <laughs> so I, I i just use that in that that example so that you let to understand that every aspect of our life is spiritual because some persons think that relationship and marriage and they are not spiritual <laughs> do you understand so you just get that instruction go and propose and you know it's the instruction of the moment or you get an instruction go close down this is your shop here open an, another shop and in the other location and 
or another instruction call this person call that person and then you are you obey and then you find out that you there is a need you met or the person you called or unlocked something un, unlocked your next um dimension or you know gave you a wisdom for your situation do you understand so these are practical things so as you begin to pray in in other tongues you are careful to listen on the inside and then receive instructions so that's one of the benefits so you know tongues helps you to do life well helps you to do life well do you understand yeah so that's that about that point the fourth point is that tongues tear the waters tongues stir the waters or tongues make power available so you understand you you will understand what i mean um when we go into it so tongues stir the waters or tongues make power available now there was a pool in scripture called the pool of bethesda in john chapter 5. now when you read through that story or that account you see that there is something about that pool the pool had the capacity to heal it had the capacity to take away any infirmity no matter the the degree of the infirmity no matter the severity of that infirmity the pool had the capacity to take care of it it had the capacity but only in certain seasons when it is stirred can the capacity be unleashed (laughs) <laughs> do you understand so there is the capacity and then there is the unleashing of the capacity when the pool is not stirred it cannot do anything you will jump into the pool and you just have your bath and come out and <laughs> nothing will happen but once the angel comes in a certain season and stirs up the pool it's able to bring healing to the person that jumps in first right now in john chapter 7 jesus likened the holy ghost to a the river of life on our inside so there is the river of life that we are carrying as believers now that river hmm, is able to it has several possibilities several capacities it can heal the sick it can it can it can raise the dead it can it can uh make you live in in health it can bring prosperity your way so several possibilities are locked up in the river that we are carrying on the inside but we need to stir up the river do you understand through knowledge through tongues through knowledge through consciousness through tongues so for example now when jesus was talking about baptism of the holy spirit he told them in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, And ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Note, you will receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Jesus did not tell them and then you speak in other tongues. But in Acts chapter 2, the scripture says in verse 4, he says that they, you know, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak in other tongues as the Holy Ghost gave them utterance right so jesus told them you will receive power when the holy ghost comes so when the holy ghost came on them in Acts chapter 2 they actually received the power but the holy ghost now launched them into (coughs) into the realm of tongues and they began to pray in other tongues so when when later we we will now read in james chapter 5 verse 16 that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available we are able to link these scriptures so james tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available jesus said you will receive power james said you will make it available by your prayer are you catching it already now let me give you a a a, a, a scenario so you have your water tank and you have your sumo you are living in the house so the water is available underground right but you now use your 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 generator or your pumping machine to generate it and make it (laughs) and make it available for use in the house so even though the water is underground so you have received water underground it will not be available for use in the house if you don't generate it do you understand if you don't pump it into your um overhead 
tank and then you are able to use it for several things in several places whatever i want to use the water to do inside your house so in the same way there is power available it's called dunamis on our inside there is the power available on our inside sorry there's the power we have received power on our inside now through prayer and other things you you, you now begin to make it available for use do you understand you know these things are not as separate as i'm dividing it but just to you know give you a picture they are all intermingled it's available you can use it and all of that so it's just to give you a picture of what happens when we pray in, in other tongues so praying in tongues to me is the stirring rod that the, the holy ghost gave the disciples you know to stir what they have received so in the same way that the angel comes in a certain season and stirs up the pool when the holy ghost came upon the apostles the disciples 120 of them and you know baptized them with, the, with himself and they received power he gave them a stirring rod he said use this and stir your river and stir your river on the inside and after they did that stirring peter rose up and and narrated history and three thousand men were caught to their heart and said what shall we do to be saved that's the power of you know you know that's that that's that that's what happens when the power on your inside is stirred and released onto the nations so speaking in other tongues is what stirs the waters so when you spend quality time praying in other tongues you know you you will continually live a stirred up life you know apostle paul was writing to his son timothy and he told them and he told him rather he told him uh, 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 um he says stir the gift that is in you by the laying on of my hands so apostle paul had prayed for timothy laid hands on him and he received the gift of the holy ghost and and he was saying stir up that gift stir up that gift stir it up so tongues is the way to you know you know to stir up the gift in on the inside of us so so the fifth point the fifth benefit that i've outlined is that tongues charge your spirit tongues charge your spirit and what do i mean by this okay almost everyone okay you have a cell phone or you have a laptop for you to be watching me now you have you either have a phone or you have a laptop so what happens when the battery is down when the battery of your cell phone is down some functions you know cannot be done again uh, there are some capabilities that your phone has eh it is capable of taking pictures but once the battery goes low and you open your camera it will go off and tell you battery low <laughs> do you understand so even though it has the capacity to do that thing but because it is weak on the inside it cannot fulfill that um that uh um um that um that job or or whatever that job right so in the same way what we are our lives are you know the, it is our spirit rules our life that runs our life your life will move in the direction of your spirit do you understand so if you are strong little one that apostle paul will, will pray would always pray he said that you'll be strengthened with might in the holy ghost by the holy ghost in your inner man talking about the spirit so once your spirit is strong do you understand you 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 will fly so if there is a weakness in your spirit that's when you know struggles with certain temptations you start falling into temptation making mistakes all, all all around and all of that so that means that you need to be continually charged in your spirit in your inner man you need a strength on your on your inside and what is one of the ways that you can garner that strength is by praying in other tongues now first corinthians chapter 14 and verse 4 it says that he that prays in other tongues a defies himself the word a defy is from the greek word um meaning to charge one of the meanings of that of that was translated as a defy in, in in greek it means to charge to charge so the same way that when your cell phone is low in energy is low in battery you are able to plug it into um the power source and you begin to charge it up that's the same way when your spirit is weak it's not a time to slide into depression it's not a time to you know to allow the devil to begin to mess with your mind it's a time to start engaging the holy ghost in other tongues so it's as though when 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 you are 
when, when you're praying in, in other tongues, you are plugging yourself to the power source and you are generating energy on the inside. So as you are going in the spirit, you may have entered your prayer room weak in the spirit but you emerge strengthened in your inner man that is what tongues can do <laughs> tongues tra- can transport you into God's presence. It's, the scripture says that as many as appear before God in Zion, it said they grow from strength to strength. So tongues is, is that is that mechanism that transports you into into God and you 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 begin to get charged it's like you just plug yourself into the pastors and you are strengthened and you come out you know coming to face that challenge headlong do you understand so a person that is not given to prayer a person that is not given to praying in other tongues will be weak in the spirit they won't be able to accomplish much they will not be able to accomplish much so do you want to be strong in the spirit then you must give yourself genuinely to pray in other tongues and then finally finally you know number six is that tongues build up your spirit tongues build up your spirit jude chapter 1 verse 20 the scripture says finally brethren building up yourself in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost yeah the amplified will say rise like an edifice higher and higher so the analogy there that is used is that of a building right so you are you know raising a building the first day you lay the foundation and somebody comes to that building and says what is this what what he, he cannot see the final picture <laughs> do you understand so everything is in a mess but the builders keep laying blocks upon blocks so as they are laying the building is is rising rising higher and higher <laughs> higher and higher until they 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 are able to roof to, to paint and then you are you you, you now come back and you're like wow wow this this building come up from this um from this uh um ground level and they'll tell you yes so when you got there the first time it was a mess and you almost mocked mocked it <laughs> do you understand but when you returned it was standing beautiful so that's something that happens when we give our life to christ you know our spirit is made new do you understand but okay l- let me put it this way we are newborn babes do you understand so we are born again in the spirit so we are like babies in the spirit so how do we now begin to grow one of the ways is by praying in other tongues you begin to build up your spirit praying in in other tongues the same first corinthians chapter 14 verse 4 the word edify right the greek word one of the other translations it, it means to build up to build up to build up so when you begin to pray in other tongues you are building up your 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 spirit your spirit man you are rising in the spirit you are rising in the spirit and then you are maturing so one of the ways one of the tools of maturity is praying in other tongues so you just keep rising as you yield to the spirit as you yield to the holy ghost and you are praying and praying you are rising rising getting better getting more mature in the spirit until you have come to the <laughs> to the fullness of the stature do you understand so you keep rising so these are some of the benefits of praying in other tongues there are a lot more but i've just outlined this so that we can have it as um you know a part of this series so that you know going forward we'll we'll begin to now start um, understanding the concept of the baptism of the holy spirit you know starting from the old testament 
the law the prophets jesus the apostles down to us and all of that so we'll, we'll try to trace the the line and then um you know look at some of the misconceptions of tongues so if this has been a blessing to you i want to see your comment down below you know what are the things you have learned what struck you the most you know what 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 hit you what did you understand or is there another um benefit that you've experienced that you want to share with us do well to you know and put it in the comment below and then do it to like this video if if you indeed love the video like it give it a thumbs up so that you know what it does your comments and your likes what it does is that it shoots up the algorithm so that um youtube now begins to suggest the video to a lot of persons and then they come to benefit from it just like you have benefited so thank you very much T. i come your way next time be good pray in tongues <laughs> and if you have if, if you are not yet baptized don't worry by the end of this series you'll, you'll be baptized in the holy ghost and you'll be um you know gliding in tongues and and all of that and enjoying your ride with god so thank you god bless you see you in our next episode bye